Time now for your morning rush. More news in less time. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is issuing a new temporary moratorium on evictions. The new order expires on October 3rd and it covers counties experiencing substantial or high levels of COVID-19 spread. 11 million people stay in their homes, 6 million families to be secure in housing where those children will be able to start school in the next few weeks and not have to worry about where they're going to sleep. Experts say that this would currently include about 80% of U.S. counties or 90% of the U.S. population. A Chatteroy family is seeking answers to what caused all three of their family dogs to die suddenly last week. The family says it happened after they swam in the Little Spokane River next to their home. They believe blue-green algae may be the cause. We look to the WSU College of Veterinary Medicine for answers. The problem with blue-green algae is it's actually um, a bacterial toxin that can affect dogs and it can be really quite deadly to dogs. I think it can be really hard to know. There are case reports of dogs dying paracutely, so really suddenly like that. Now the Washington State Department of Ecology will investigate samples from the river. If you've been having trouble getting your pet in to see a veterinarian, you're not alone. Vet offices across the country are overwhelmed, including here in Washington. This is veterinarian Gary Marsh, you'll see here. He says a recent study showed pet ownership jumped 20% during the pandemic. COVID restrictions and understaffing are causing problems for pet owners. We do not want you to wait weeks to get your pet to the veterinary clinic. Um, we're doing as best, the best that we can. We still care tremendously. We're trying to figure out ways to, to see everybody. And sometimes that might look different than you're used to seeing. The, his best advice at the moment, make an appointment, even if it's something small before it turns into a bigger issue. A new report shows the NCAA has fallen short of upholding its commitment to gender equity. This comes after footage of disparities between the NCAA men's and women's March Madness tournaments went viral this year. Now the reports recommend combining the Final Four games to one site and offering financial incentives to schools to improve women's programs. Now that's your morning rush, more news in less time. To find out what's happening in your neighborhood, use the hashtag UpWithCrim on social media.